Hey, Mark. I've been trying to reach you for a while. Listen, I know that things didn't exactly go down the way we wanted them to, but... How are you doing? I'm fine. That's good to hear. We were worried about you. You're probably busy, so I won't keep you for long. But if you ever wanted to get back in the saddle, so to speak, we might have something coming up. You don't have to say yes. I just wanted you to know that the option's there if you want it. I'll think about it. You do that. Take care, Mark. You too. There's anything on TV. Where did I put the remote? Two Gorges Dam collapsed last year following years of neglected maintenance. Construction work on rebuilding the dam was supposed to finish later this year, but following several delays, Stahlberg Construction Group's new estimates now put the completion over three years away. Repair work on the Bergman tunnels continue. These tunnels caused a shock in August when a collapse in one part of the tunnels set off a chain reaction that wreaked havoc all over Stahlberg. According to the local company, National Consulting Group, who performed a survey of these tunnels, the tunnels were in extremely poor condition and hadn't been maintained for years, despite their vital importance to the city. The tunnels are now being repaired, and all maintenance in the future will be conducted by National Consulting Group. The beer manufacturer Osmo Olud has bought the Walter Tower skyscraper from the center of the city and plans to turn it into their new headquarters. The beer trade has been expanding in the last few years, and the company is doing better than ever. The aptly named Walter Tower used to be the headquarters of Walter Corporation, but fell into disuse after their CEO, Jeff Walter, went missing several years ago. A number of condemning documents regarding Stahlberg City officials has been published. The scope of these documents is extensive, and they have already brought corruption charges upon many officials. Further investigation is still ongoing. Mayor Altmaier has resigned in the face of these accusations. That's all for tonight. I hope you all have a good evening, and we'll see you in the morning on Stahlberg News Network.